Hey, what's up, everybody? It's FG, August 23rd, 2024. Bitcoin just had its big move, pumping up out of the July 1st Q3 anchor here and pumping up to our target, the all-time high anchor, the anchor placed at Bitcoin's all-time high. The trade setup, which I put in the Flopping Groper VIP Discord this morning, right on time, had a target up here at that anchor and your entry was somewhere here in the 61s this morning, and your stop loss was just right under that Q3 anchor at 60,500. And so this was a banger trade, the big trade. This is the big one I was talking about in uh, my last video. And now the fun is over. So now we're here at resistance, and there's a couple things that are conflicting, and let me go over them. One, is look at the four hour extremely overbought here definitely topped out on the four hour here um, and even as you go down to the scalp time frames you see like very very bearish bear divvy very toppy not looking that good on these middle time frames here in terms of like do i want to enter into a swing long you actually want to see what bitcoin does around this this all-time high anchor before you even consider hopping in and frothing at the mouth and fomoing into this uptrend here that being said you are now over firmly the five day simple moving average that's this black area here and so we are in an uptrend and so when we do get perhaps an hourly green dot we should trust it and it should yield fruitful results uh, as long as we just trade the uptrend because we are in a established uptrend at this time now, if we fall back into the black area, that five day moving average, then the red dots will be supercharged. And so I'm going to start employing this simple moving average into the VWAP strategy, and I'm just going to see how it does here. So we have a bullish bias, but we are at a stiff, stiff resistance. And so let the weekend play out, get some data. Don't be in such a rush to enter a trade at this time. Um, and looking forward a little bit into September next month here, um, there's probably going to be a short sometime between now and the beginning or middle of September, or like basically with a target down to this current August 1st VWAP, the current month's VWAP here. So you can imagine um, there's a couple bear scenarios that I could actually see happening, and I'm sure you can see them too. One is that this is the high since this is a, a critical volume weighted uh, level that was basically confirmed as resistance multiple times, maybe this is a high. This is the bear's last stand. After we pump over this VWAP, there are no more bearish VWAPs overhead. And so the bulls have completely taken the reins of the market if they can get over this 64K level. But what if they can't? What if we dump for the remainder of August down back to the monthly VWAP and we go into September pretty much like smack dash, smash back up against our monthly VWAP there. Now, the other scenario is, um, you know, we have some sort of pattern up here at the, this range, right? Um, and then we get the correction at the start of September back down to that August VWAP like that. And then the final scenario is uh, something maybe in the middle of September. So maybe we do this and then we actually have a fake out breakout to the upside and then we have a mega crash down to that august anchor so um you know it's hard to say but all i know is that for for all of this year bitcoin loves to retread back to the previous month's anchor when a new month forms and so you can imagine a fresh monthly anchor forming on september 1st and the first thing that the market is going to be asking itself is do i want to go back to that blue August 1st view outline. And so that's how I'm going to be approaching the beginning and middle of September, potentially earlier if we start seeing bear signs at this level. But, um, you know, just to talk about some potential upside here, if we are able to overclaim 64K and swing this market back in the favor of the bulls, because the, there will be no volume weighted average price resistance overhead. There's a couple targets, so you can click this all-time high anchor and enable some of these bands here. This is going to give us some target levels for an upward move. So a conservative target, if we break out of the 64K anchor level here, is, is going to be 
the first band currently at 68,575. That's conservative. So that means that we are likely going there if we can successfully break out of the all-time high anchor. Now, the second target, this is a little more frothy, a little more, uh, a little more luck based the odds really like aren't as strong but we could potentially go all the way up to the all-time high here and finally the most insane target the the level three band would be a completely new all-time high and basically like an 80k bitcoin and so those are the three targets i would be eyeing if we can in fact break out of the all-time high anchor but for the time being given that we are in an established downtrend of lower highs and lower lows for the last two quarters, and we're at this critical, critical VWAP resistance, I can't be counting my chickens before they hatch. I don't want to be FOMOing into longs when these middle time frames and scalp time frames are super bearish. And so, you know, given that we are over the five-day moving average, that's nice. That means that green dots, there might be some long plays over the weekend or next week whatever like end of august type stuff but um either way <clears throat> i'm proceeding with caution i hope you guys too uh, do too congrats to the winners of this long play and um man just for future reference when it comes to these vwap setups you can apply this setup this is a really great lesson when it comes to anchored vwap trades so when you see a market coiling up around a bunch of VWAPs and a bunch of major VWAPs have tightened up and it's just super range bound in them. When you start to see an emerging trend, just know that you've got a banger trade there because you can put that stop loss just right under that anchor, right there like that. And your target, you have the target. So the VWAPs are giving you the stop loss, the entry and the target. And so th this is like an ideal textbook anchored VWAP trade setup and uh, it's something that i want you guys to be applying on the micro time frames the medium time frames and also these macro time frames but um yeah congrats to everybody who who got this move make sure that you guys follow my at flopping groper twitter account here like and subscribe on this video and if you want one of our mike perry market cipher pump covers here use code platinum at empoweredtraders.com you can use code dump for 30 percent off of market cipher the indicators that i'm using in this analysis and just to leave you guys with some last bit of information here the weekly has flipped bullish if we can keep these levels here you got the green dots here going into september looking quite nice on the weekly and these daily time frames are still looking like they got some juice, but uh, it does look like these middle time frames and below have some cooling off to do. And so I would say green dots on the hourly are probably gonna be fire since we're over that five day moving average. But uh, other than that, proceed with caution, take your profits. God bless you guys and have a good night.